Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel and today it's the 1987 United States one cent coin or the Lincoln penny and you see we have a bunch of them here and we have these other things and we'll explain what those other things are. Um, this one up here with the D and this one that says something about the US Mint. But first let's look at the pennies. This one right here is the Philadelphia version of the Lincoln one cent coin from 1987. And we can tell it's the Philadelphia one because there's no mint mark down here. It says, In God we trusted to talk liberty here. Uh, Lincoln, if you look really closely, he just has an incredibly detailed bow tie on here. And that's one of the ways you can tell. You can see the kind of lines under the chin, the ears, how the ears are covered by his hair, how the eyelid is there. This is a really, really good quality coin. Down here at the bottom, we see that there is uh, some marks here, and that's the VDB for Victor David Brenner, who was the engraver of this coin in 1909. Down here we see it looks like there's a little doubling in the outside of the rim, but it's not. It's just the way that the camera shows up. This is a smooth rim. Uh, this is a one of the coins that came after 1982. So it has the zinc in it, and it can be incredibly, incredibly valuable. In 1982, they switched over from the copper-based coins. If we tip it over, we see that it says United States of America at the top, E Pluribus Unum here. Uh, there on the side, right here, there's an F and a G, and that's for Frank Gasparro, who was the engraver of the back of this coin. Now, the back of this coin was not engraved in 1909. The back of this coin was engraved in 1958 and first came out in 1959. The original back of the coin was, of course, the wheat ears cent. We see the wheat on each side here. E Pluribus Unum 1 cent, United States of America. Now, I said I would tell you what these letter things are. If you buy an uncirculated mint, uh, uncirculated set from the U.S. Mint, it's an uncirculated coin set, you get something like this in 1987. It says uncirculated in Philadelphia. In the uncirculated set, you're going to get a Philadelphia penny and a Denver penny. Uh, you won't get, this was not one of the PDS sets, so you won't get anything from the San Francisco Mint. That's in a different set by 1987. But these tokens, people collect them, but they're not hugely valuable. And this is the same kind of thing. It's a copper-plated zinc coin. It's kind of nice, but uh, not a huge market for them. And I'll show the other one is the D for the Denver Mint. Now, at the Philadelphia Mint in 1987, they made 4.7 billion of these. So they made a bunch. If you're looking for them, you can get one. Can you get one in great condition like this? Maybe if you're lucky, or maybe if you get the uncirculated mint set and it just comes out this good. These, these coins, if you can get to an MS-65, you're talking only about $7.50. But if you can get to an MS-68 or 69, you're gonna get into the thousands. The highest price that PGS, PCGS reports for sale is was in actually only about six months ago, uh, 3,500 for an MS-69 red. And this is a pretty red coin here. Um, what's the difference between a red coin and a brown coin? Well, a lot of times, if you look at the ones you get out of your pocket, They'll have kind of a brownish uh, tint to them. This one actually has an incredible patina, too. Look at the coloring in this. This one is used, though, and so it's not going to be hugely valuable. But if you get a coin that's not all beat up um, like this, and you can see the full bow tie and the ear and stuff, this would be a really valuable coin, but it would probably be graded as a brown or a red brown. And that would only make it worth only hundreds instead of thousands. And we know this one isn't much value because look at the back of there. It just got wore off. All right. What else do we have in 1987? Of course, we have the Denver Mint pennies. And the Denver Mint penny, which is right here, you can tell that by the D. This is kind of a funny little D, but it'll suffice. And it's not uh, an error, but it just came out a little bit strange. Uh, the bow tie is not quite as good on this one. And you can see the detail in the face, not quite as good. Even though this came out of the same uncirculated mint set, uh, they took, they take the ones from the Denver mint and the, um, the ones from the Philadelphia mint and they take them off the end of the line and then they put them in the uncirculated mint sets together. 
So this one at Denver, they made 4.9 billion. So 4.7 billion at Philly, 4.9 billion at Denver, and they made one other coin. And that was, of course, this one. And this one, you're going to look at it and say, wow, that is just incredibly fantastic. And probably higher than an MS-65. Unfortunately, uh, because this has the S on it, we know that it came from a mint proof set. The S is for the San Francisco Mint. In 1987, they made 4.227 million of these. So this coin, even in this shape that it's in right here, probably a proof 65, maybe more, is worth about 350 to $5. If you could get up to a proof 66 or 67, you may get close to $100. But it's really one of those coins where it, everybody that gets one gets one that's in pretty good shape. Um, so there's a bunch of them out there, especially when they make 4 million of the proof sets. All right. Well, these coins are great. Um, I, you know, and, and if I had to choose, I think I would choose some of these coins sometimes. They're just, they're just really beautiful. Um, but the value of these coins really depends on how good a condition they're in and how many of them you can get. And if you can get these... Uh, all over the place, then they're not going to be worth a whole lot of money. So here's the great patina on the 87 Denver Mint and on the 87 Philadelphia Mint coin. Look for these in your pocket change, and if they, if they look this nice with these many colors, why not save them? Because they're not going to cost you anything. Have a great day from DC Coin World International, Coin Channel.